And while the Postal Service did not explicitly address those layoffs today, they did say that they're trying to be able to address right now the significant financial losses in an outdated network. As Queen City News anchor Derek Dellinger found out, as far as the union is concerned, those changes call on some of the operations to move out of neighborhoods or possibly out of Charlotte. Coming up Tuesday morning, the American Postal Workers Union here in Charlotte is set to have a protest walk about all these layoffs. They say it is bad and that it will affect service. For years, there's been a lot of public perception about the U.S. Postal Service. Some will call it reliable, some will call it a mess, and in the middle of it all, between the organization and those getting their mail are the postal workers. Those postal workers say whatever your perception, things have definitely changed in the Postal Service. Miriam Bell is the local president of the American Postal Workers Union. They've gone from hiring to where we had enough people who were working just normal 48-hour work weeks doing the work. We had um, flexible workers who could work anywhere from maybe 20 to 40 hours a week or a little more to now they have some temporary employees who are working ridiculous hours and career employees who are being forced into overtime. Bell says they are the point of contact for many people who get Amazon packages and the like outside of Charlotte. But cuts have been happening. The U.S. Postal Service has already made cuts to services like mail by air down 90 percent over the last two years. But Bell says even the most basic services like sending a letter has proven to be a problem. We have tracked letters from our office. We've done tests with the mail. The average is anywhere from seven to 30 days for a first class letter across the city of Charlotte. Bell now says 308 people are in danger of being laid off across Charlotte with some operations moving out of neighborhoods to main centers and in one case moving some of Charlotte's mail to a processing center in Gaston County. Queen City News asked the U.S. Postal Service about the changes. While they did not explicitly address the layoffs or the changes, they did say that customers will see no changes to their local post office retail operations. No post offices will be closed and P.O. Box service will not be changed. They also said career employees will not be laid off and that changes are needed for the Postal Service, which has had financial issues for years, to continue. Bell, for her part, says they need to know what will happen because what she says she has seen in her time really always comes back to the people. I see waste, a lot of waste millions and millions upon millions of dollars on extravagant machines that are usually thrown away because they didn't work. That protest starts at 8 a.m. We're told it will be a brief walk, but the protest itself will last around an hour. In Charlotte, Derek Dellinger, Queen City News.